Hi all, welcome back to my mudroom, I mean channel. My name's Ollie, this is Simply Stitchy and today's video is all about how to stop your sewing machine pedal from sliding across the floor and we're getting into it right now. Now sewing machine foot pedals can be slippery little critters and there's nothing worse than having to spend your time chasing them across the floor when you're trying to stitch your um, sewing project. So I'm going to show you what I use to keep the pesky little things in one place. It's this stuff. Now this is just normal, standard, non-slip draw liner. I'll pop a link in the descript description box below for you. Um, it'll be an Amazon affiliate link because I'm Amazon affiliate, um, but you can actually get this from most retail stores. You can get it from dollar stores. It's available pretty much anywhere. And this is how you use it. Basically, all you have to do is pop the draw liner on the floor where you're sewing, put your foot pedal on it, and sew. And it doesn't move. Now, this is a metal based sewing machine pedal. I'm now going to try it with a plastic pedal. Do the same thing, pop it on the draw liner, and sew and it doesn't move across the floor. Same test, only this time we're on carpet. Put it on the draw liner, put your foot on it, and so, and it's not moving. That was the metal based pedal, a plastic based pedal. There you go, it works a treat. Now I just use my bit of draw liner exactly as it is um, but there is a really nice video on YouTube I think it's called Crafty Gemini she shows you how to make this look a little bit more um, pretty and I'll pop a link to her video in the description box below there are also specially designed products on Amazon um, simply do a search on sewing machine pedal stays and you'll get a whole list of products. Now I'm not going to put a link to any of those in the description box because I haven't used them um, and I don't recommend products that I haven't personally got experience of uh, but yeah go and do a bit of a google search and you'll find products designed to stop the sewing machine pedals moving around the floor. Um, now not only have I not used any of those products but I don't tend to recommend those products as being useful for stopping your sewing machine pedals moving around. The first reason why I don't tend to um, to go for those is because they all entail sticking something to the base of your pedal. Now I know um, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos where people actually stick old bits of carpet to the base of their pedals. Um, now the, the reason why I think that could be a little bit of a problem is, especially if you've got a plastic pedal, um, some glues react with plastic and you might find, depending on what glue you've used, that you've mel melted the base of your pedal, which that's not going to help you. So, The other reason why I don't tend to recommend sticking anything to sewing machine pedals is because whatever you've got stuck on the base of your pedal is going to cause like a, a ridge. And if you get dust and debris collecting around that, what you might find is it stops your pedal sitting flat on the floor. It might raise it up a little bit and that could affect um, how you use the pedal or how comfortable it is for your foot to use the pedal. Another thing that you could consider using is a mouse mat. Um, again, my mouse mats are pretty much available anywhere. You can get them from dollar stores, pound stores, retail stores, um, computer stores, wherever. Um, I don't actually have a mouse mat to show you that one working because I've got an optical mouse so I don't need to use one. Um, I haven't tried it. I don't know how effective it is. As I say, what I use is this. It works a treat. Um, it's simple. It's effective. You don't have to stick anything to anything. There's no Velcro ripping out the fibres of your carpet. And if you want to move your sewing area, you simply lift this off the floor and move it to somewhere else. No hassle. No mess. I hope you did that. I start again. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Why not consider subscribing to my channel and ring that little bell so that YouTube will give you a notification when I upload another video. Check out some of the other videos that I've got on my channel. There's some links coming up here. Any minute now. Magic. Hey presto. 
Um, whichever video you go and check out next, I hope to see you back here for the next one. In the meantime, wherever you're saying, whatever you're saying with, embrace your creativity and have fun. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.